Hi folks, welcome back to the Man Made Handmade channel. Now this video is for anyone wanting to get organised in the garage, workshop or utility room. Today we're going to be talking about channel strut or uni strut as it's otherwise known. We're going to discuss what it is, how it works and how it's helped me to get organised and tidy in my workshop. Let's take a look. So channel strut, it's like a Meccano set but for adults. It's used mainly in electrical and mechanical settings, HV, AC, boiler rooms, switch rooms and such like. But as you'll see in this video, it can also be used in workshops and garages for storage and organisation. The channel strut comes in two main sizes. There are others but they're quite unique so I won't cover these here. The first size 41 by 21 mil and the second size 21 by 41 mil, slightly smaller. You can also get the Unistrut slotted at the back and also unslotted as well. There's also a difference in finish. This one is hot dip galvanized, mainly for outdoor applications. And this one is pre-galvanized. This is just for indoor work. Each size comes with a corresponding end cap, which can be hammered in the end, making the job nice and tidy. Now these are called cantilever brackets. These come in all kinds of sizes and these are what I use to make shelves in the workshop here. More about these later. Now in addition to cantilever brackets there's a huge array, huge selection of other brackets that you can use in conjunction with a unistrut to make structures. You have L-shaped brackets here in the three dimensions, you also have an L-shaped flat bracket here and a T bracket here, more about these a little bit later. So how do we connect the channel to the brackets? Well, we use nuts and bolts as expected, but the nuts are a bit different, look. The nuts are a rectangular piece of metal, which has the corners knocked off it, meaning it can only spin one way inside the channel. Take a look. So the nut is inserted into the channel, pushed down against the spring and turned. And now we have a thread which can accept the corresponding nut. Now this thread we use to fix our brackets like so. Very secure fixing. Let's take a look around the workshop now and show you where we've used this stuff starting over there. So we're in the corner of the workshop here and notice that the upright pieces are first fixed to the wall through the slotted holes at the back of the strut. We have a horizontal bar connecting the uprights together with electrical accessories already attached. These are simply bolted to the bar using the same nuts shown before. So we want to install a shelf here. Well that's simple. We've set up a cantilever bracket with the nuts already threaded onto the bolts. We offer up the bracket, ensuring the nuts slip into the channel. We push the bolts and we tighten. Now the turning motion will set the nuts into the proper position, just like earlier. Now at the other end of the workbench, there are more examples of how we have used channel strut and brackets for mounting things. Anyone who's familiar with my videos will know I use pneumatics quite a bit. Here I've combined two brackets to mount a pressure gauge and shut off valves. Of course other items are easily mounted as well. We are at the opposite side of the workshop now and this is where I keep all of my stock lengths of steel for fabrication. Same process as before. We have installed four uprights which have been spread equally across the wall and a horizontal bar for sockets added for the power for the bandsaw and the welder. Cantilever brackets have been used to hold up the steel stock nice and neatly. To make use of the space above, four cantilever brackets and scaffold boards have been used to make a heavy duty shelf. Here's another example. Unfortunately in the workshop, I share the space with our domestic boiler. To make the boiler much easier to install, we fixed two uprights of channel and a number of cross pieces were used to hang the boiler and clip the pipes. It made for a lovely neat install. 
Now this is an example of a friend's garage we kitted out with channel. You can see we used four uprights, two front legs for the bench and a horizontal bar to carry the three sockets and switch. We managed to get three shelves above the bench too. The thing that's obvious about this picture is that it's fully adjustable, meaning we can move the shelves up or down to suit. This stuff really is adaptable to any uneven wall, in any workshop, utility room or garage. It's fantastic. Well folks, that's it for this video. Hope you've had some inspiration and learned something. If you've got any questions, pop them in the comments below. Like the video if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you in the next video.